Ultimately, the decision to cancel a video game is about cutting losses, or at least potential losses. Sometimes the game in question is much anticipated and would likely achieve a degree of commercial success, but that alone isn't enough to guarantee its survival. In some instances, a game is cancelled for seemingly no reason whatsoever or because of something utterly arbitrary, like a disagreement over artistic direction. Whatever the reason, the following titles were all cancelled way before their time and will remain incomplete forever. But I would love to be wrong about that one someday. Some of them had trailers and some even had playable demos, but none made it into our hands. They were abandoned in an unfinished state and while many of them might have turned out excellently, we'll simply never know what could have been. My name is Rach and welcome back to What Culture Gaming. These are seven more cancelled video games that would have made millions. Number 7. Mega Man Legends 3 a staple of video games, Mega Man has been around since 1987 and has since produced well over 50 unique titles, spanning multiple console generations. In 1997, a decade after Mega Man first premiered, Capcom released Mega Man Legends, a spin-off series which aimed to take the franchise in an all-new direction, emphasizing a more versatile exploration over linear platforming. After three successful installments in the series, Mega Man Legends went into hibernation until 2010, at which point it was announced during a Nintendo press conference that Mega Man Legends 3 was finally entering production and would debut on the 3DS. In July 2011, Mega Man Legends 3 was suddenly cancelled, a mere year after it was first announced. Unsurprisingly, fans took to the news with disappointment. However, that disappointment quickly transformed into resentment after Capcom essentially blamed the cancellation of the project on a lack of public interest. In reality, the cancellation of Mega Man Legends 3 had little to do with the fans and was more likely caused by the departure of series co-creator Keiji Inafuni, who left Capcom in November 2010. Number 6. Shadow Realms First announced in 2014, Shadow Realms was an action-oriented RPG with a competitive multiplayer focus. At the time, the game was being developed by Bioware Austin and was scheduled for release in 2015. Prior to its eventual cancellation in February, Shadow Realms was planned as an episodic title and would have featured cooperative-style gameplay pitting four players against the Shadow Lord, who would have been controlled by a fifth player akin to Evolve. Initially delayed due to poor player feedback, Shadow Realms was later cancelled entirely. All references to the game were removed from EA's official website and the team assigned to the project were redistributed throughout the company and reassigned to other projects, including Star Wars The Old Republic. To this day, little is known about the game's cancellation, although it seems to have been the result of a large-scale shift in focus. Strangely enough, Shadow Realm seems to have made it quite a ways into production. Gameplay footage is extensive and it looks fairly promising. It may not have set the world on fire, but it could have been a huge amount of fun. Fun. In the end, however, we'll never know. Number 5. Thrill Kill Due for release in 1998, Thrill Kill was a fighting game designed around several mature themes and was planned to be the first entry in a new franchise. In the game, players would have chosen from a selection of playable characters, pitting those characters against one another in a multitude of different environments. The objective was to decimate your opponents in the bloodiest, most creative ways conceivable, gradually increasing your bloodlust until you could perform special gruesome fatalities known as thrill kills. The game was being developed by Paradox Entertainment and was planned to be published by Virgin Interactive, who were later purchased in their entirety by Electronic Arts. EA, concerned by the violence inherent in the game, decided to cancel the project, fearing that its release would tarnish their public reputation. In fairness, Thrill Kill was an exceptionally violent game. However, it was also an entirely finished project ready to go. The game featured moves with suggestive titles 
such as Bitch Slap and Swallow This, and was actually the first game to receive the AO, adults only, rating from the ESRB. As a result, EA decided to axe the project in order to avoid potential outrage. The game itself was highly anticipated and its cancellation disappointed a great many fans. Ultimately, it was ahead of its time and if that were released today, I bet you no one would have even batted an eye. Number 4. Fallout 3 the original version of Fallout 3 was in development for a long time prior to its eventual cancellation in 2003. Codenamed Van Buren, the game was being developed by Black Isle Studios and had been delayed on multiple occasions in favour of other projects. Tasked with surviving the perils of the wastelands in the game, players would have taken control of an unnamed prisoner. And like the two previous installments in the series, Fallout 3 featured a top-down perspective and turn-based combat, emphasising strategy and exploration more than ever before. Sadly, in 1998, Interplay Entertainment very nearly filed for bankruptcy and were forced to disband Black Isle Studios. Fallout 3, as well as several other projects, were cancelled in the process. In 2008, Bethesda's revamped Fallout 3 was released an entire decade after the last instalment in the series and was praised almost unanimously by critics. To date, the game has been awarded countless honours and is considered one of the finest games of the previous generation. With that said, Bethesda's version was a significant departure for the series, and while many people approved of this departure, others lamented the cancellation of Van Buren, which was considered the true sequel to Fallout 1 and 2. Number 3. Prey 2 Officially announced in 2011, Prey 2 was a sequel to 2006's Prey, a first-person shooter developed by Human Head Studios that emphasised non-linear exploration, environmental puzzles and gravity manipulation. The planned sequel would have seen players take on the role of Killian Samuels, an amnesiac bounty hunter tasked with apprehending dangerous fugitives on a futuristic alien planet, Exodus. A preview of the game was showcased at E3 2011 and was positively received. Shortly after, Prey 2 was delayed by Bethesda and rumours began to circulate that the game had actually been cancelled. In reality, development had been shifted away from Human Head Studios in favour of Arcane, the creators of Dishonored. It was later revealed that development on the game would begin from scratch, which was surprising considering how much progress that Human Head Studios had reportedly made on their version of the game. Infuriated by the decision, narrative designer Jason L. Blair took to Twitter to condemn the cancellation, describing Bethesda's decision as politically motivated and potentially litigable. He also commented on the progress that the original team had made and even went as far as to describe Prey 2 as a complete game, a finished product ready to be shipped. It was a lot more than a demo, he says. Prey 2 was a full game and a crazy fun one. The team was small, but you wouldn't have known it. Guess we will never know it. Number 2. Conquer. Getting Medieval. After the release of Conquer's Bad Fur Day in 2001, Rare began work on a sequel, initially codenamed Conquer's Other Bad Day. In the game, players would have reassumed the role of the titular Squirrel, who after being crowned king is sentenced to execution for spending his kingdom's entire treasury on booze. The tone of the game would have been faithful to the original, and several prominent characters were planned to make reappearances. In 2002, Rare was purchased in its entirety by Microsoft, who immediately scrapped the game in favour of other projects, including a remake of Conquer's Bad Fur Day for the original Xbox, titled Conquer Live and Reloaded. Rare had planned to develop a sequel to Live and Reloaded, which would have emphasised cooperative multiplayer as well as large-scale siege warfare. It was called Conquer, Get in Medieval, and it would have featured Death as a playable character, but it too was cancelled for indistinct reasons. In September 2015, Rare released a video detailing the project and showcasing several examples of unused concept art. Perhaps hoping to reignite some interest in the game, the video goes into great detail about the premise, as well as the look and feel of the game. Ultimately, Conquer Getting Medieval might someday happen, but for the time being, it's just a mausoleum of wasted potential and unrealized possibilities. Number 1. Earthbound 64 Cancelled in the year 2000, Earthbound 64 began development back in 1994 and had been delayed multiple times prior to its eventual cancellation. 
In Japan, a version of the game was released in 2006 entitled Mother 3 and was generally well received by fans and critics alike. Outside of Japan, Earthbound 64 never materialized, despite being rumored to be over 50% complete. Production on Earthbound 64 persisted for years and was ported from console to console throughout the 90s. The game was originally planned to be released on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, but was later moved to the N64 and finally the GameCube. The cancellation itself was the result of several contributing factors, two of which related directly to the game being overly ambitious. Despite his lack of experience, Shigesato Itui developed Earthbound 64 using 3D technologies, which ultimately exceeded the capabilities of the platform. Likewise, the game was rumoured to be over 60 hours in length, which would have made it the longest game in the entire series. In the end, Earthbound 64 couldn't meet its own unrealistic expectations and was left playing catch-up for years prior to its eventual cancellation. In fairness, Nintendo did everything within their power to keep the project alive, but it was ultimately sunk by the weight of its own ambition. There we have it guys, thank you so much for watching. What a shame, what are you most gutted that you'll never get to play? Thank you so much for liking and sharing and subscribing. Oh, you're just the best. If you want, you can follow me on Twitter at Don't Rage Quit. You'd be sure to have an awesome day guys. These are all bloody fantastic. See you later.